what is wrong with the city of Windsor wanting to raise property tax? So, hi everyone, it's Brian, your handy dandy realtor here in the city of Windsor. So, wanted to just show you what the problem is with the taxes in the city of Windsor that nobody at City Hall will allow to be fixed because there's too much power. There's too much power in the old mayor and there's too much power in the new mayor. They get all of their votes from the folks in South Windsor because as a block, they vote a lot. So here's a house that sold in the city of Windsor on Dan Durand. And there's 155 houses on Dan Durand. Let me give you some kind of context. You're gonna see where I'm going to go to with this video. Now, this house, the property taxes are only 3,801. It's valued at $600,000. That's what it sold for. It's roughly right around in there, something like that. I for, don't know exactly, but I'm just using this as an example. Just picked a willy-nilly example. So here, 3,801 is the property taxes, but it's on 98.94 feet of frontage. 98 feet of frontage in the city of Windsor. Now here is another, another property that's only on 45 feet of frontage, and it only has, and its property taxes are 3627. Now, how is this allowed to be? When these other folks are paying $200 less and they have half the frontage, it's not fair because South Windsor has never been reassessed because this is the voting block in the city of Windsor. If they reassessed it and took the property taxes up to where they're supposed to be based upon frontage foot, which is how property taxes get dilly-dallied out, then you can see that the people in South Windsor would be pretty upset with the last clan and this current clan that we've got running the city. So they don't do that. They don't force the reassessment. The reassessment was supposed to happen, but then COVID came in. And it was never reassessed. It's way behind in its reassessment. So the point that's made is that if you took the 3801 divided by this square footage, 99 feet, that's $38.39 per front footage <coughs> of property tax that they're paying. Now, if you took this same house here on Fairview in, in Riverside, then they would, in the same frontage, they've got 45 feet of frontage, almost the same value house, a little bit less actually, and their taxes should go down to 1727 based upon what this one's paying at the current rate. So there's a so my point is that if you reassess, if these folks with 45 feet are paying um, 3,600, then this is double the square footage or double the footage on the road, which is how taxes are based, curb length. So then these taxes should go up to at least 6,200. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to double it. I'm just going to say 6,200. So 6,200 minus 3,800 is $2,400, $2,400, $200 a month, their taxes should be going up because they were never reassessed. So $24,000. There's 155 houses on Dan Duran that have never been reassessed. They're not paying their fair share. We hear that this election cycle. So what does that mean then? So $2,400 by one fifty-five is not a whole lot of money when you think about it, 2100 by 155, that's $325,000. That the city's not getting, that they should be getting, just by reassessing South Windsor, just, just on Dan Durand. How many houses are there in South Windsor? If there was 155 on one road, there's at least 20 roads in the city in, in South Windsor. So let's say one road, so 20. So 155 by 20 is 3,100 houses by 2,400 a house by 2,400 a house. That's suddenly $7.4 million. Now, 
the shortfall is too much. So because they've been spending like drunken soldiers, drunken sailors, sorry, I don't mean to pick on members of our military by saying that they were drunken. It's just a slang term to use. But they've been spending way too much at City Hall doing things like rebuilding a train car that cost massive sums of money and it was way over budget. And our current city councilors allowed that to happen. They should all be thrown out. All right. But then there's this concept, let's build a Ferris wheel. That's a great concept. That's an amazing concept. Build that beast. Because then people will come to the city of Windsor on vacation and stay here. Our population would explode with something like that. Of course, our populations are already exploding just because we're the South Beach of Canada. But could you imagine ice skating underneath a Ferris wheel? With pods that are heated and selling a little bit of alcohol and stuff, whatever, to try to make some revenue off that darn thing, like they do in Las Vegas? I kind of like the concept of a Ferris wheel because you pay for it over time. It's like a bridge. You pay for it over time. kind of like that concept. A whole community center down on the riverfront, bringing people back downtown. Of course, then you're going to have a problem with all of the homeless encampments and everything, but homeless encampments are out here in Riverside as well, too. So at the end of the day, though, that's $7.4 million just by reassessing the people in South Windsor. And then they lose the votes, though, because then the people in South Windsor are going to be mad. But the people in Riverside are going to be happy. It's like, hey, hey, they're finally paying attention to this. And they're finally doing something about it. It's not fair to raise everybody's taxes 12%. What's fair is to go back into South Windsor and other areas of the city that have not been reassessed and reassess them first, then look at the damages and say, hmm, we're going to have to put through a 2% or a 3% rate increase for everybody else. We're going to reassess everybody or we're going to reassess those areas that were due for reassessment that we never reassessed. We're going to force those folks to pay their fair share because that's so big right now in today's society. And then, yeah, we might have to put through a 2 or 3% rate increase for everybody to have to pay. So that's what's going on with it. And that's a good example, you know, 90, 99, 99 feet of frontage versus 45 feet of frontage. And the 45 feet of frontage people should only be paying seventeen they They're not. They're paying $36.27. they are paying $2,000 more than what they're supposed to be. Instead, these folks in South Windsor should start paying their fair share. That's what's wrong with the property taxes in the city of Windsor. But that's because the last clan that was in there, as the, as the head of the city and this mayor, all get their votes from this voting block. Oh, we can't, we can't make it fair for everybody across the city because if we do that, then suddenly um, these folks over in this massive voting block are going to have to throw us out of office. Well, do the right thing, Mr. Mayor. Sacrifice your job for the right of the whole city. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And that's my whole point. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.